I want to show you these marijuana plants. Take a look at them. They're growing right now in Manshack, Texas, which is just south of Austin. A company licensed by the state to develop medical marijuana is opening its facility to a limited number of guests today, and that includes our Andrea Lucia, who joins us live. Hey, yeah, here we are in the headquarters for Compassionate Cultivation. This is the second medical marijuana company licensed by the state and the first to let us into their Texas facility. We're standing right now in what will become its dispensary. Patients will be able to have the product delivered to them. They'll also be able to come here to get it in person. But the heart of the operation right now is in the vegetation room. That's where the company has 64 marijuana plants that will be used to make its first batch of cannabis oil. The company held a dedication ceremony today naming that room after State Representative Stephanie Click. The lawmaker from North Richland Hills took the lead in writing the bill to legalize medical marijuana in Texas. The law right now only allows patients with intractable epilepsy to have access to this, but I asked her if she'd like to see the program expand to include more conditions. I would uh, support a science-based approach. And if we had data to support that, like there are a lot of folks that would like to see it available for post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, I'm, I'm very sympathetic to that and to veterans, but we don't have any data to prove that that would be a benefit to those folks. A compassionate cultivation says it expects to have this product available for sale by January, maybe February. It does have a competitor who expects to be selling medical marijuana sometime in December. Coming up on CBS 11 at 6, we're going to hear from the company's CEO on how important those first plants really are. Reporting live here in Manchac, Texas, Andrea Lucia, CBS 11 News. Andrea